Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested here and San Diego Comic-Con 2024. And of course, once again with Garner Hall. Yeah, Garner, good so good to see, to see you. you. Again. Oh Glad my goodness. You. Yeah. It's been so many years since we visited your facilities, your laboratories, where Garner Hall Productions, if people might not know, you guys are one of the, the foremost experts in animatronics, entertainment animatronics yeah. in the world. I, we built a lot of animatronics. We've got over 450 in the Disney parks and Chuck E. Cheese that people are seeing here today. Uh, I'm very nostalgic for people because we did over 550 Chuck E. Cheese shows worldwide, 36 different countries. We built a lot of figures. And you wrote like the book on animatronics. I'll tell you when we went to visit, <laughs> visit uh, Richard Taylor at what a workshop, you could not stop praising your book oh, and the work that's, you did. That's wonderful, yeah. And when we last visited you, you know, we saw your passion project, your, your Abraham Lincoln animatronic, mm -hmm. so expressive, so lifelike. You guys are moving into a little bit of the more pop culture world, something you showed up at Comic-Con. This is Grogu. Yeah, Grogu is a great character. He's very successful here. People are loving to get their pictures taken. Um, he's done a lot. He's traveled a lot. In fact, he opened the Disney 100th anniversary show in Kansas City oh, wow. a couple months ago. And uh, so you can see him at the Disney parks in the, uh, um, the Galaxy's Edge, the Mandalorian carrying him around in a bag. And, that's uh, your guy's in, work. That's ours, yeah, yeah. Wow. So he's all over in the Disney parks that way. And, uh, you know, we're really uh, excited to be a part of uh, a lot of the great characters that have been developed recently. Something like, like that, that's a, a carry around robot. I know mm -hmm. you guys have done robots that are installed in, you know, whether it's from a theme park or a casino or all sorts of things, right? Yeah. There are different challenges. I remember yeah. Lincoln, so much wiring and electronics that went behind just the, the bus. Yeah. Uh, well, how, what's how really, do you know to work? What's really cool about this is this particular character technology's got so miniaturized with, a, with batteries in this, you could literally carry this pram around and have him fully animated. And this is some of the latest technology, the motor systems that are using. He's got about 22 different actuators and he has expression and everything else. So um, we can make it totally uh, uh, movable or interactive or we can carry it around or like the, the Mandalorian carries him around in a pouch, you know? So um, a lot of, uh, lot of flexibility now with a lot of great new technology. When you look at characters, every character has different parameters, head size, mm -hmm. type of expressions. Expression seems to be the hardest thing to do. It's one now, of how, the hardest, yeah. Um, we, uh, you know, it's uh, he's got uh, facial expression with brows, cheeks. Uh, he can smile, his mouth, everything else, and his ears, of course. You know, well, that's the size of a coconut, you know? And uh, so it's kind of challenging, but that's what makes it fun. That's what I enjoy doing, really unique things that nobody's done before. And with every new character, is it a whole new design process where you have to kind of fit it all into? that shape and volume? Well, yeah, you know, and we enjoy the uniqueness uh, or the, basically the diversity of the things we do. We just did a, a whole bunch of uh, tiki birds for the Royal Caribbean uh, cruise lines. And uh, they're, they're kind of like this. They're very tiny, but they're really packed with movement and they're interactive and they can do all kinds of fun stuff. So uh, um, we, we just like the challenge of, even though we've done birds before, you know, like tiki birds, but you know, we, we like to do new things with new technology, you know? And how fast is new technology changing? When you first debuted this two years ago, is it fundamentally the same technology that's well, in there? Well, you know what's great is, is animatronics is kind of on the tail end. We're kind of a drop in the bucket compared to robotics in the mm -hmm. world. But robotics has taken off so much now lately that there are so many advances in motor technology and miniaturization, miniaturization of electronics and controls that we kind of glom onto that and, and use that for our stuff and, it, and it's great to have all that because there's billions of dollars of development there and which animating people can't afford, you know? <laughs> right. So we like to grab that and use it, you know? You're just always keeping your ear to the ground, yeah. the newest motors, newest controllers, what you can do, the newest animation tools even. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. And then That's with every character, of course, you have the skin, you have the, the artistry of putting, turning it into a recognizable face. Mm -hmm. You know, that seems to be a refined process at least. Well, we're really experts at that because I've got, you know, myself, I've, I've built a company over 47 years that has some of the best in the world at what they do. The figure finishers we have, I mean, they're the sculptors, they're literally the best in the world and, and they just make the characters look so great. And, uh, you know, I have to always, uh, my hat's always off to them because they're always doing such a good job for us. You know, I got a lot of great talent 
And we're, we're known for taking IP characters and making them literally step off the movie screen, you know, yeah. and they have to look exact. They have to look like they're, they just stepped out of the movie and they're alive right in front of you. And that's a challenge sometimes, but we do it. And then in terms of the animation, mm -hmm. um, I'm sure that's changed, the software side. Yeah. You know, what's the latest like? Well, the latest now is, you know, we program and uh, we still do some hand, hand programming, but a lot of it is programmed now on the screen and it really, and it actually converts to the character movements and the animation, you know, so we can program characters like Grogu literally in CG on the screen and then it translates to the figure. So you know? it's like a, a like an, like a, a CG animation rigging system that exactly. gets mapped it's, to... And it's rigged exactly the joints as they are mechanically in the figure. So when you move the joints here, it does exactly the same thing over here, you know? Is there any exploration in using trained models to kind oh, of... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, we've, we've done, you know, we mess with motion capture and yeah. all kinds of things like that with humans, you know? But uh, yeah, we're, we're having all kinds of fun with all the new technologies that continue to evolve, you know? And it's every new project that comes your way that allows you to then put that into practice. Yeah, and we do a lot of R&D internally, so we spend a lot of time with R&D and, you know, as much as we can possibly do. But a lot of it's project driven, you know, people come with new ideas and, and say, hey, can you do this? And we're like, sure, you know, we'll, we'll take on anything, you know? I I love your the passion projects. I love the the personal projects that aren't necessary for a client. I mean, Abe and I'm sure Mark Twain are those both the things that you as a child wanted to see. Yeah. Well, what we did is we wanted to do an expressive head to see what we could to show what we could do. Yeah. You know, other companies had done it. You know, other theme park companies had done done it an expressive head, and you know, I thought to myself, you know, I think we can do better than that. So we we it was a kind of a challenge to do something really cool that nobody would ever done. That's on the highest of the high end. And mm -hmm. as the technology maybe becomes more accessible, I noticed that you have now products that maybe you're reaching more direct to consumers. Can you tell me yeah. about this? Well, actually, you know, so, you know, people visited our shop just like you did. And people have visited my shop for years. Everybody always wanted to know what we're doing, you know, building dinosaurs, building this and that. And every kid ever always went away with a smile on their face and said, I want to work here someday. So. We've uh, kind of evolved into an education company now. I have a division called Education Through Imagination. And uh, we're putting uh, products in schools that use animatronics to inspire and educate kids through STEM and STEAM using art and technology combined. Because an animatronic figure isn't just a robot, it's art and technology almost equal to uh, make something look or create the illusion of life. And that's our whole education department and we're putting what we call animaker spaces, which are kind of like a maker space, but you can build animatronics in them oh. and teaching kids in schools that way. And we have kits. So this bird kit here is an example of a kit that's gonna be available soon. We have multiple birds available and he's a STEM steam project and he can be built right on your kitchen table. And uh, you oh, can wow. program and talk, you can make him talk and- Pardon me, fellow pedagogues. Elevate your STEAM curriculum with Tropatronics Bird Build Kits. As you can see, we are simply sensational for hands-on learning. It's a full lesson in animatronics design and production from the world leader on the subject. Tropatronics Kits make STEAM come to life. So he's a way to uh, uh, get involved in animatronics at a school level, anywhere from third grade up. And uh, you can build this entire thing here yourself color it, paint it, program it, do the voice. And if you buy a bunch of these, you can put them all together and daisy chain them and they can become a tiki room. You can download musical shows from us and be able to make your own tiki room and uh, birds can sing together and talk together because they're all connected together, you know? So this will be a great thing. It'll be out by the end of the year. So if people go on GarnerHoltProductions.com and, or GarnerHolt.com and look up our website and they go to our store and they can find our products. That's incredible. And I'm sure making something like this very different than making something that's just for display. You have to, you, yeah, it's actually almost harder work to make something that yeah, people can learn off of. Yeah, and, and what we wanted to do is have a curriculum and lesson plan that went with it so people can learn and kids can learn all the tenets of STEM and STEAM. They learn about gears and levers and, and electronics and programming and coding and even into the art where they're coloring all this and, and all of the, the pieces that make up an animatronic figure. And now it's, it's uh, very successful in schools right now, so we're trying to get it out to the public. And it doesn't seem 
dumb down. Like the, the amount of range of motion here, oh, the these expressiveness. Are, yeah, these are more elaborate than the Tiki Birds at Disneyland. These have wing movement, tail movement, um, a lot of different head movement that they don't. So these are these are about double the movements of a regular Tiki Bird. Wow. Well, any consumer be able to, to purchase these? Not oh just yeah, you'd be able to go right on our website um, and through GarnerHolt.com and go right to it. I love it. I love that initiative. I love the, the constant improvement and just this passion that you have your whole life. For well, my passion now is education. We're, and we have a foundation called the Garner Holt Foundation. And we're, we're letting kids build this, kids that are underserved and foster kids. And they get to build these absolutely for free because of our foundation we have bird camps and kids come in and they get to build them and they get to take them home and they're they're able to experience this where they would never be able to experience something like that because of the cost and everything you know so um, we're having a great time with that too so it's all about getting the getting kids uh, career paths and getting kids to inspire them for the future well thank you thank you for your you know? passion thank you for these initiatives thank you for sharing your passion with the world in so many wonderful ways. It's a pleasure Love to see doing you again. It. Thank you so much. Good to see you again. See you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. We have some brand new merch available at the store. A dog's age ago, I mean like 2018, 2019, this wonderful graphic designer named Brian Otterer reached out to us and sent us some stickers. He has a design firm called Dash Three Dots and we loved his stickers so much we wanted to sell them on the merch store. Well, he updated them with our new logo and we've got Adam in Martian space suit sticker. We've got Adam in the shuttle suit sticker. We've got Adam in the Apollo suit sticker and my personal favorite, Adam in the alien space suit sticker. Get yours now, tested-store.com. Hey! <laughs>